So let's, uh, uh, what I really enjoy is a discussion. So I, what I want to do is start with uh, some introductory things, uh, give you a little bit of a context, uh, something about the experience. So maybe I'll talk for no more than three, four hours. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, off, I usually like to start with things that people uh, who are here are interested in. So I've asked a few people uh, what they would be most interested in hearing about. And I'd like to start with a couple of those. Kate, can you start? So, uh, yeah, well, so what I'm interested in, because um, most learning is iterative and you fail a lot, is how do you know when you've actually figured out something that works? Because I don't think it's obvious. People think that when you find something that works, you're just going to know. But I'm not sure that that's mm -hmm. the case. So how did you know when you were onto something that worked? But you, but you left out the other one, which uh, is tough. How do you know when you fail? Yeah, uh, so yeah, and how do you know you failed? You get to, well, what did you say? Do you get discouraged? Uh, and then, yeah, and why do you keep going after you fail, and what makes you keep going? Stubbornness. Yeah, what keeps you going on this iterative process, or this journey you take? Uh, and how do you know you reached a milestone where it's reached? So like, does anybody have an easier question? <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess what, what I feel is... What's the Dow going to do next week? Yeah, right. Huh? <laughs> What's the Dow going to do next week? Uh, it'll go down. <laughs> yeah, right. That's, That's an easy, easy one. one. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, now I feel better. I haven't failed. No, not now, how do I know that I haven't failed? Because I answered your question and you faked... Pleasure. Pleasure. And so that's good. That's the way it works. No, I think that uh, the great... <clears throat> missing piece of development work and why $565 billion spent in Africa has been wasted is because people don't ask that question before they start. Uh, I think that everything needs to have, everything that you do to, in development for instance, but anywhere else, you need to work to measurable impacts and scalability. If you don't have measure, I don't care what your idea is, whether it's, and, and this, is, uh, this is why I like the Gates Foundation, because by and large they, they work this way. You, you need measurable impact and scale. So answering the, your question in terms of my own work, um, the first question is, what, what is what are the measurable impacts that I'm looking for? Well, uh, poverty is complicated. So uh, people say that poverty is uh, caused by powerlessness. Some people say that it's bad, uh, lack of education. Some people say that it's poor health. Um, my answer is, from talking to dollar a day people, I. I told some of you that I've interviewed 3,000 of them over the past 25 years, and I asked them why they're poor. And they say they're poor because they don't have enough money. Uh, so I know if it's worked or not, if my work is successful, by trying to get a pretty good idea of whether it's improved the income of people who earn a dollar a day. And uh, I try to have every project double or triple, help poor people double or triple their income. Uh, many of the things that I've been involved with have failed. I don't like failing. But on the other hand, if you haven't failed, you're probably doing something wrong. Uh, because if you, if you haven't failed, you're not taking enough risk. Mm -hmm. One of the most devastating failures I had was I got, in Nepal, people in remote areas uh, are 2 to 15 days walk from a road. There are a lot of whitewater rivers, so we introduced jet barges designed in, uh, in uh, Lewiston. Five, five ton cargo capacity jet barges. Uh, we followed in the footsteps of Sir Edmund Hillary, who went up those whitewater rivers 40 years ago in fiberglass boats. Uh, we designed aluminum boats with, uh, with big engines. 
I almost killed my wife. On that. <laughs> this is, I, that's actually true. We hit a rock. Uh, she had a fractured shoulder blade and a punctured lung out in the remote. We proved 500 kilometers of river navigable. But the attempt to make that into a commercially profitable transport company failed because the rivers go up and down. We had world class operators. It's, it's, it's just an I felt terrible. I, I felt ashamed. Mm -hmm. When I talked to uh, the head of the Ag Development Bank of Nepal, who I would gotten to know, I was a little bit afraid to see him because the thing failed. <coughs> Mr. Upadja, Krishna Upadja. He just clapped me on the back and said, I admire you so much for taking that kind of a risk. Good for you. Thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. And it helped me a lot in uh, not worrying about that. Uh, but on the other hand, how do you know it's successful? Well, bottom line is this. Uh, IDE, the organization that I started and handed over a, a year and a half ago, over 25 years, we spent $77 million. Uh, People who live on less than a dollar a day, these are one acre farmers who are our main customers, invested uh, 124 million, I think it was, of their own money. That's on a dollar a day income. In the things that we made available at an unsubsidized fair market price, they ha are earning $288 million a year net from that investment. That's my measurement of success. Materialistic, and look what happened to us when we we're worried about money. But it's a different thing when you're on a buck a day. Because you go hungry three months a year. Uh, at a buck a day, if you go from $300 a year to $800 a year, you move uh, what is culturally the middle class. You are no longer hungry and the income gives you the freedom to choose. So, so then some of these people that I've interviewed, they say, I say, what do you, what do you spend the money on? Well, they, they have what you might think they have, what they, their values are. They want to educate their kids. Uh, the, the, before that, they want to make sure that everybody eats. <clears throat> they educate their kids, they increase their income, they change from a thatch roof to a... Thank <laughs> you.